to my channel. It's haul time. It was going to be just a Poundland haul. Then I went to B&M first and spent nearly all my money in B&M and then by the time I got to Poundland I didn't need anything because I bought it all in B&M. So now it's a Poundland cross B&M sort of mi mishmash mixtape. <laughs> I should not do that. It's a mix haul. It's a mix haul is what it is. So there we go. This side is B&M. This side is Poundland and I'm going to show you what I got. Okay, so a lot of it is food. However, in my defence, it's not all for me this time. So I probably shouldn't go shopping where there's food, actually. It's not to, not whether I'm hungry or whether I'm not hungry. I just probably shouldn't go shopping to food shops. I should probably just do my shopping online. But it's not all for me. So we start at the B&M end and I've got my B&M receipt here because I won't remember how much things were, although the Poundland not, shouldn't be quite so complicated, should it? Okay, so I bought, now this was my first mistake, I bought beans. Buying beans is not a mistake. I mean, millions of people around the world buy beans on a regular basis and, and get by perfectly well that way. But I bought beans in B&M where they were £1.29. And you've guessed it, over the road in Poundland where I went 10 minutes later, guess how much the beans are? They're a pound. So 29 pence of my hard-earned cash down the plunger. Down the plunger? Down the sink. Plunging down the sink. Plunged. Wasted. Next up, I treated the moveable to a new collar. These were 2 49 They didn't have a lot of choice in her size. She's a, she's a medium neck at the moment. Although the way she's going, she'll have a big large fat neck soon. So I got her a red, red and white spotty one. I don't know where she is. I would call her to have it on, but I don't know where she's gone. Plus, it's very much nailed to the cardboard, so I'll chop it off in a minute. But yeah, two forty nine for a new collar for Molly. Um, that was pound. Then. Let me. Oh, I bought a new egg poacher. I don't know if anybody watches my uh, weekly waffle, but if you do, if you do, you'll see that I attempted. Um, I poached an egg in a pan this week, and that took about a week and a half to do it. So then I got the old microwave egg poacher out of the cupboard and used that, but I forgot how to use it. Um, you have to put hot water in it, and I forgot that and put cold water in, so my egg exploded all over the microwave three times, which annoyed me immensely. So I bought a new microwave egg poacher because I feel like this is better quality. My old one is very much cheap, you know. I mean, oh, this is cheap plastic, but this is Addis. I mean, Addis is a known brand. We used to have an Addis bin when I was a kid. Things you remember. So to make poached eggs in this, you put a third of water in there and you heat it with the lid on for 60 seconds. Heat the water before you put the eggs in. And that's what makes a difference. So I'm very much planning to have a perfect poached egg this week, if it kills me. I also got French's Californian Sweet Onion Relish. I really fancied that. I've got this flat sausage that I'm going through like nobody's business at the moment that I got in um, Costco. And I really fancied Californian Sweet Onion Relish to have on there, so... Trying to sniff it, obviously it's sealed because I've just bought it. It's quality entertainment, this. Hashtag qualtertainment. The sweet onion relish was, I think it was like a pound. Hang on. Bear with. It was 79 pence. It was bargainous. Some very glamorous packets of paracetamol because we're nearly out because I've had a headache every day for 15 years. So 19p a packet of paracetamol in B&M. And it's three packets for a pound in... Poundland, so it's cheaper in B&M, isn't it? Mm. Although maybe they're bigger packets in Poundland. I don't know because I'm buying it. I tracked down some of this. You'll notice that this is an empty packet because Natalie's already got it. This is Blix Blistex Relief Cream. This is the best thing for sore lips in winter, but it's hard to find. They used to have it in Home Bargains and they haven't had it for a while. This was two twenty nine, I think. Yeah, two twenty nine. but it's really worth it. It's a little um metal tube. Don't squeeze it too hard because it goes blah, 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 at the end and you have to chase it down the street. But um, it's a strong ammonia solution. I didn't realise it was ammonia. That's a bit weird, isn't it? So, I mean, if you wee weed on your lips, they'd be fine afterwards. We're, we're going down a dangerous road there. I got two packets of my Ballisto bars, one of, which, one of which I've opened and started in the car on the way home. I've only eaten one this time, so that was a bit of a break. Though. Mainly because Lex and I went for food so I stopped eating blister bars to leave room for Zaza Bazaar. Yes yeah, so I got two packets of those they were a pound each I believe. Yep yeah, two for two, two at a pound each and then the rest of the food isn't mine the food from b and isn't mine. I got a packet of fish and chips, a packet of dry roasted peanuts 
and a packet of baked pretzels and, and these are to go into a get well soon basket that I'm sending to a friend who's in hospital so they're not for me and then on to Poundland I got this in Poundland it was a pound you'll be astonished to hear this is it's for Lex Lex is behind the camera she didn't know that there was something for her Hiya. it is Beautifully scrumptious kale face mask. Shut the front All door. All hail for kale. Look at that. Beautifully scrumptious kale face mask for Lex. And there's Lex's hand. <laughs> <laughs> so I, that, I grabbed that in Poundland and then I stood hiding the shelf so that you couldn't see it and go, oh, look, kale face mask. <laughs> that's, so, that's so kale. That's so kale by you? But um. Then I picked up this. I have not seen these in Poundland before. It is just shrink wrap, so it's called Rottweiler Protective Wrap, 177 metres by 2 inches, just some interesting uh, measurements for you, 54 metres by 5, oh, so 177 feet by 2 inches, I beg your pardon, 54 metres by 5 centimetres, bundles, wraps and ties. So I'm pretty sure it's literally just a little roll of shrink wrap, but I thought it might come in useful for, I don't know, if I'm bundling books together or something. Lex is suggesting I could bundle my head with it. I feel that I probably won't. Oh, I feel like I've broken it already. I feel like I probably won't be using it to bundle my head. But yeah, it was a quid, and I thought that was a handy little. Da, 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 but I don't know. I don't know. It was novel for a quid. A new pom pom for my keys because my pom pom has broken off my key ring, and I sat here and patiently sewed it back on last night, and this morning it broke straight back off again. So we've gone with bright yellow this time for cheerfulness. Yellow is sunshine. Molly wants the pom pom. You're not having the pom pom. You're not having it. LED tweezers, uh, £1.49. I don't know how much my pom pom was. Oh, my pom pom was in Poundland. These were in BM, so I've, I've buggered up I've buggered up the entire thing, basically. That won't be a surprise to you. LED tweezers in BM, £1.49. They have a light on them. I'm hoping they will help me track down my beard hairs. I mean, some of the beard hairs are oh, painfully obvious. But, oh. Oh, gosh, that's really bright. I we have ways like of this. making Lex talk. Oh, oh, so yeah, the idea. Oh, look at that. That's quite scary. Mm, I can't. I can't do it. I need the light off. But yeah. So theoretically, I will be able to. Find, and they feel quite sharp. So hopefully, they'll grab those nasty little tight, tiny beard hairs that I can't get. So yeah, quite pleased with those for one forty nine. Although having said that, I haven't tried them yet. Lex is going to sit there and pluck her beard. I did buy Natalie a present, but she's left the room, and I'm not friends with her today, so she can't have it. Five, four, three, two, one. She's back in the room. You're always my friend. I am your friend. Molly's my friend. Orange Smarties. Nat likes orange Smarties. There you go. Yeah. Are they actually welcome. orange flavoured? Or They're the yeah. only ones that have a flavour. All, yeah, all of the Smarties just taste flavor. like Ming. Well, just Ming these days because they took all the nice flavours out, didn't they? Smarties now have no preservatives, no colouring, no flavour, no fun. The only Top ones that still have a flavour are the orange ones. I got a bubbleberry little tree. This is a fake magic tree. It's a fake, you know, it's a copy version. Um, air freshener for the car. Because the car's been smelling a bit feety and doggy and wintry and, and cupboardy. So I've got a bubble. It's bubbleberry. Cupboardy is a word. Cupboardy is a word. Hang on while I open it. Oh, that's nice. I like it. Do you want to sniff my bubbleberry? What smell is it? Bubbleberry. That, that's a thing. Apparently so. It smells like that. Oh, like, I would prefer my car to smell that way than the way it currently does. That's, I wonder that's if I can nice. hang those all around the house and improve the smell of the house that way. That, that is I wouldn't mind having nice. a bubblegum scented house. That would be okay. Also in B&M I had to buy a shopping bag and I bought one of those ones that bundles up into a little pouch. And when I unbundled it after I paid for it, it was tiny. Look at that. You can't get a haul in there, can you? I got half a haul in. So that was disappointing for a quid. I've had better. The best fold-up shopping bags are from Primark. They're a pound in Primark mm. and they are definitely the best ones. They have decent handles. They're a really good size. You can get loads of them. I don't think I have one handy. They're more like 3D. Yeah, I think, I think both of mine are downstairs at the moment with, with um, shopping in from yesterday. But yeah, they are definitely the best ones. If you're looking for fold-up shopping bags, get the hence to Primark. I would not like an orange smarty, thank you. So yeah, I paid a pound for that and felt, felt like they saw me coming, to be honest. And then these are Poundland, uncoated and chocolate coated peanuts and raisins. Because 
joke on the front. This is like this is like a bonus level of shopping. Why couldn't the squirrel eat the macadamia nut? Lex, why couldn't the squirrel eat the macadamia nut? Um 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 no I really don't Sometime know. Sometime later. <laughs> it was one tough nut to crack. Macadamia nuts are quite soft though. It's not a funny joke. Joke fail. Um, Poundland people? Poundland people who invent nuts and raisins? Your joke is a fail. Produced in the UK uh, by somebody at P.O. Box 7202. There's no company name on there. How odd. There's no company. It just says produced in the UK and then an address. So they're so ashamed of their joke that they won't put their company name on their packaging. Okay. And then Lex made me buy a Foblerone, a fake Toblerone, a Twin Peaks. Yeah, I didn't realise that these came in like five or six different varieties. They didn't last year. They only had yeah. two things so last year. Yeah, so I got Caramel Crunch, but there was also Honeycomb Crisp. There was a dark chocolate. Fruit and nut. There was a fruit and nut. Then there was the original milk. One. And a white chocolate one. And a white chocolate. So there's loads of different Twin Peaks. And I'm, I've got Caramel Crunch, and I'll let you know. Probably won't let you know, because I might let you know. I might mention it in a vlog. If you watch the waffle, you might see me mention whether this is any good when I open it. But I'm not opening it starting now, because we did have a really big dinner on it packets of the best biscuits i'm puzzled by this two packets for a pound in poundland they are foxes they are milk chocolate viennese they are identical biscuits to these ones these are also foxes they are Vien they're the same biscuit why have foxes brought that in two different packaging what's that all about i'm puzzled by this either way i've got two packets for a quid each packet is 120 grams these were 180 grams and they were I think they were 89p so it's probably about the same price per grammage but now i have three packets so that's like you know a win at life isn't it plus i still have a kilo of jaffa cakes from the last one here and then the last couple of things are a couple of puzzle books and these are again to go into my um my get well soon um thing that i'm sending to a friend in hospital so um so yeah that's it that is a combined b and m there's a flipping helicopter going overhead now anyway this was a combined B&M Poundland haul. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you like this kind of thing, hit the subscribe button because I'll be doing more of this. Um, if you've got anything to say, pop it in the comments down there. Look, doop, 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 doop. And um, oh, remember to do a thumb somewhere. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye bye.